Hello, and welcome to GRE Math Subject Test Video 8. Our goal is to provide avenues for approaching problems on the test that will significantly save you time on the test. Today's problem is an example of a problem that was on one of the past GRE Math Subject Test practice tests, and it states the following. The dimension of the subspace of real vectors spanned by these real vectors here is what? And the choices are 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And here are the vectors. Okay. So our goal is to find out what the dimension of the space spanned by these vectors is. So first of all, all these vectors live in R4. And so the dimension of this space is at most 4. So we can immediately eliminate the choices 5 and 6. So that's great, because when you're on the test... Eliminating answers at least can give you more of an educated um, guess because you are limiting the number of choices that you have to choose from. Okay, so now let's hunt for a minimal set of linearly independent vectors among these vectors that we have because that can give us a basis for the subspace spanned by these. Okay, well, zero the zero vector will not contribute into linear independence whatsoever and the reason is because it is always a linear combination of other vectors right using zero as scalar so let's get rid of that okay so let's look at the remaining vectors now notice that the third vector the third components of each of these vectors is a zero so really we can think of these vectors as lying if we label the third component with the letter z we can think of these vectors lying in the z equals zero plane in four space and so we can project onto that plane and eliminate that coordinate as a consequence, and does then just deal with these vectors in three space that are left. And the dimension of that space is going to be the same as the dimension of the space spanned by the original four vector, uh, five vectors. Okay, so now we're down to looking at the span of a set of vectors in R3. Right? And so the dimension is going to be at most three, so we can eliminate four as an option. Okay, so what happens with the rest of these vectors, right? Well, observe that this vector and this vector are linearly independent, they form a linearly independent set, right? One is not a scalar multiple of the other. And furthermore, since this vector here has a non-zero component, uh, component at the bottom, this, namely the last component is non-zero, whereas these two are zero, then this vector can't be written as a linear combination of these. Right? And these vectors, three vectors here, will form a linearly independent set. Okay, great. So these three vectors form a linearly independent set. And so the dimension of the space that we're interested in has to be at least the number of vectors here, which is three, right? But we know it's either two or three, and so we're left with three as our only choice. Okay, so this is a quick way to go about figuring out linear independence with a list of vectors. The typical strategy that's used in courses is to place these vectors in a matrix and row reduce, but this video gives you a way of uh, approaching the problem without having to do the laborious work of row reduction. Thank you for watching today's video. If you enjoyed the video, please click the like button below, and if you'd like to see more videos of this style, 
On the GRE Math Subject Test, please subscribe to this channel.